What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be doing a beat from scratch using Serum, using one of my favorite plugins, VSTs, called Serum, which will be right there, and giving you a little bit of some sound design help, so check this out. So we're gonna be using that particular chord progression to do something, so let's get going here. Let's get the tempo right. Let's see here. About 120. And maybe bring it up to 140. Let's see. Let me play a little bit with some of that once we put that in first. So let me bring that in to here into Ableton Live and let's go from there. Let's do it. Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit of sound design. So let me just put that here over to the middle so we can see that and let me stretch that out a little bit here and let's hear it let me bring it back a little bit so we can see it even more let's repeat that so we can keep playing with that press control l bring it up a little bit octave let's see here okay we'll keep it there and so let's now do a little bit of quantization but I'm not going to just press Q I'm going to just do it by hand as to not destroy some of the feel of the chords Okay, so that's great. So now let's work on the piano and we're going to then add the bass and then the drums. So let's see what we can do with the piano, some sort of top note, type, top melody type thing. So 
So let's bring this down an octave so that we can then add that top melody on top and it doesn't have, it doesn't go so high. So we're going to bring this back down. Kind of almost like a bass and then we can add the piano. Okay, so we'll do something like that. Something like that, okay? Let's try that, let's bring that in. Let me actually do Control K so we can then automate the record and the metronome buttons. That'll help us. And we can just press one. And then go, here we go. Okay, Oop, wasn't ready. Let's try that again. Let's see here. Something like that. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so that's good. So now let's hear that together without the metronome. Let's get rid of that. Okay, that piano needs some echo, so let's add some reverb to that. Let's bring, let's do a little high cut and do a little bit of diffusion here and some decay, bring up the decay, bring up the diffuse. And let's solo the piano. like a shimmer now let's do a little quantization of the piano here Let's see, maybe we can change that top note up here to, to that third up there, the fifth. Yeah, that sounds better. Let's try it together now. And let's do a little EQing on the bass part here. Do a little uh, channel EQ. Let's see, where do I have that? Hmm, here we go. Let's add this to our favorites. Channel EQ, here we go. Let's do that. Then let's add a regular EQ on top of that. EQ8. Let's also add some reverb here to, to Serum. Again, little high cut filter, low cut. And then we'll do here some diffusion. Again, diffuse, bring up the decay time, and let's solo that. Okay, perfect. Now let's add a little bit of an 808 feel. We're going to mix a little trap with New Age, whatever this is here. So let's see for bass, let's use the ARP 2600. Let's bring that in here. And let's choose a nice bass. Let's do a bass trip. Let's 
this is the oscillate first oscillator oscillator 2 has got three oscillators so I'm just messing with the oscillators a bit okay Now, I'm going to get rid of some of the notes from this synth to make it simpler. Like that. Like that. And just hold that there. And then let the piano fill in some of that, those gaps there. Yeah, okay, now let's go to the drums. So I think that's good for that. Now let's move to the drums and add a drum rack. Get rid of the lounge here and then add a drum rack down here. Let's bring in a sound that fits here. Okay, I think that works. Let's see here. I have my, uh, my MIDI controller here on the side. Uh, lunch pad mini, let's see. this okay okay let's try this let's just try it let's just practice first let's just bring the bass I mean the kick first let's do that again with a metronome this time let me delete this now uh, we can be right on tempo it's number two and then I keep pressing the bright button. And then here we go. Let's try it again. Just a kick. Snare. Great, now let's see. Okay, I'm not sure about that hi-hat, but let's keep it for now. You know what? I'm gonna switch to something a little more straight ahead. Let's do the back to basic and bring the octaves down on this sub bass from D3 to D2, control A, shift command down. Let's do it one more time. Let's try it there, see what that sounds like. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of work on the, on the piano. Let's add a little bit of uh, EQ8. What I'm looking for is separation so that all the frequencies are nicely spaced out, especially the lows. Okay, I think that is good for the piano. We've EQ'd it. Let's add a little bit of compression here. We're going to use some compression on the drums, on the bass, first of all. Drag that in here, and then we're going to sidechain that to the kick. So we're gonna do no input to the drums, post FX, go back to the kick up top, right there. And then let's see what that sounds like. Bring the attack, release, ratio's fine. Let's 
bring that threshold down so it actually reaches the signal. Yeah. It's clipping a bit, clicking. Just change the attack and it'll stop click clicking. Okay, now let's just copy and paste this to the synth. See what the synth sounds like. I think we are done now. Let's arrange a little bit of this and I think we're done. Let's just control D here. And then let's uh, start here. Just to start with the piano. Hey, in the, in the master channel, I'm going to put a limiter. We're at minus 6 dB, which is a good place to be. Let's also add a little bit of EQ8 here. A little happy face. A little glue compressor. Actually, I don't think I need that. I think I'm good. Okay, I think that's good. So that pretty much, guys, concludes this video. If you would like a link to all of my drum kits, you can just go to the bottom of this video and just click on the link there, davidtrick.com slash free music, and you can get all of my stems for free, all of this beat for free, and you can also get my drum kit for free here through December 15th because of Black Friday and because of this Christmas season. Make sure you leave me a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.